titties. Scantily clothed. Uh, <laughs> no. Wow. Is that right? I'm speaking for know. myself. Okay, Everyone good. Thank God, because, yeah, I'm covered up. I'm the I'm the elderly lady, so I have to cover myself up. You know what's great about about this for me is the um, there's such great history in the in the New York parade. You know, the New York parade began as a as as a a, a revolution um, a, that was a, a strategically strategically planned by a group of people right after Stonewall to show the heteronormative community not only that we exist but that we need to be honored, revered, and respected. So the fact that we're all in this parade together is not only historic, it's quite profound. So I, 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 I'm through, I've been in a couple of other pride parades, but this is really, really special. I'm 55 years old. I'm a trans woman of color. I've been living with AIDS for almost three decades. So the fact that, I, we were just talking about this in the car, the fact that I'm here and present is, is enough of a gift, but the fact that we're all in this parade together is quite extraordinary. The pride began, began as a protest. Yeah, clap. Let's clap but for that, yes. Pride began as a protest, not as a parade. And, um, and I think you know, it's important to remember that, especially right now where we're at. Even though it will be a joyous festivity, um, it is a political statement as well. And after Stonewall, I mean, trans folks were really pushed to the periphery. I think especially in New York, there's this legendary Sylvia Rivera video where she's on stage kind of like claiming her space and being kind of like pushed off to the side. And booed. In Washington Square, yeah. Um, and it's such an honor, I think, for, you know, to be a part of Transparent, to be a part of a, a big kind of phenomenon in the cultural canon um, to kind of like put trans folks to the f to the front. To Espe kind of like especially in regards to Stonewall, because you, as you said, they were pushed to the side, but what most people don't know is that they were at the forefront uh, uh, of Stonewall. They were sort of uh, leading the protests at that time and yeah, leading the Marcia, fight. Marsha B. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, uh, Miss Major, uh, Griffin Gracie, and plenty of other trans and gender nonconforming people really you know, through the first brick, so to speak. And a lot of people still don't know that because they keep making movies and leaving us out of our own history. So, I mean, it is very prideful, not to sound cliche, but for us to be on a float, repping for pride, carrying on the legacy of trans women. And celebrating and having a good time, being so present and loud and taking up so much space is, is, is really a gift. So the joy is, is it also needs to ha draw a big, we need to draw a big circle around the joy as well. <laughs>